Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you how to delete or create EFI system partition. We have two parts in this video. Part one: How to create EFI system partition. Part two: How to delete EFI system partition. The EFI system partition, also called ESP, is a small partition formatted with FAT32. Your GPT disk will automatically generate an EFI system partition after you have installed your operating system. Both Windows and Mac are supported. You normally can't view the EFI partition, as it doesn't have a drive letter assigned to it. If you accidentally deleted the partition, then your system will be unbootable, so you have to create a new one. On another case, if you want to reinstall Windows on Mac, you also have to create a new EFI system partition. Thus, I will show you how to create EFI system partition. Just keep watching. Boot your computer from a Windows installation disk or recovery disk. Press Shift at F10 during the setup to enter the command prompt. Run the commands below to shrink the partition to free up some unallocated space. Type disk part, then list disk. Select disk two. Here, my disk two requires an EFI partition, so I choose it. List partition. Select. Partition two. Here, my partition two needs shrinking. Shrink desired equals 500, means shrink by 500 megabytes. Then you can create EFI partition out of the 500 megabytes unallocated space using the command below. Create partition EFI. Size equals two hundred. Format: Quick FS equals FAT32. Label equals System. You can see in the disk management that you have successfully created the EFI system partition. If in the circumstances where you wish to delete EFI partition, what can you do? Let's see how to delete it now. If you have an external hard drive rather than internal one, you do not require an EFI partition to boot from the drive. And if you want to reinstall Windows on Mac. Like I mentioned above, you should delete the original EFI partition. To delete it, you have to turn to a third-party partition manager, since the Windows native tools don't allow you to remove the ESP. Here, we highly recommend it, Alme Partition Assistant, which enables you to delete any partition without losing data on others. Just Google Alme Partition Assistant, download. And install it. Run Alme Partition Assistant to get its homepage. Here you can see the information of your EFI partition. Connect either a USB drive or CD to a computer and click Make Bootable Media. Follow the wizard to create a bootable disk. Then boot computer from the bootable device. In the main window, right-click on the EFI partition that needs to get rid of, and select Delete Partition. In the pop-up window, click OK to confirm. Then click Apply to save the changes. After that. The EFI partition has now become unallocated space, 
and you can add this unallocated space to any of the existing partitions by using the Merge Partitions function. Apart from deleting the EFI partition, Alme Partition Assistant has many useful features that the inbuilt Windows Disk Management doesn't. Above are how to create or delete EFI system partition. Hope you could benefit a lot from this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.